Hi, everybody, and welcome to the third and final installment of the VipeFortBend.com. First Tyrant Automotive, last look back at the school year that was recently passed, and we have already done some programs that honored, first of all, the Marshall Buffs because they did so well in football, boys basketball, and boys track and field with a state championship in boys track and field. And also we had one that was a combination of Clement Swimming and the amazing Kempner tennis player Noe Doe, who twice already as a sophomore is a two-time state champion in Class 5A boys singles. So that's really amazing. What will he do for an encore? Well, he can't really improve on that. All he can do is maintain. So those conversations that we had with all those athletes will be very interesting, and as well as their coaches. But this time, we're going to dedicate our final program to the Ridgepoint Panthers baseball team, a team that I thought might be destined to get back to Round Rock for a third time and challenge for a state championship. But that will have to wait for another year. But as you listen to the podcast involving Ridgepoint baseball, you'll realize that even though they have so many seniors, seven position player seniors who are moving on, many of them to the next level of baseball, they are also going to have a great team coming in. In fact, you'll hear that in the last segment with Christian Guijosa, who's going to be competing for the catcher's position on the 2024 Ridgepoint baseball team. He's saying he believes that Ridgepoint will be a lot better than people think. And I think he's right because of some of the, the news that I heard that involves players that maybe sat out a year of baseball and will be back next year when they are seniors. I think it's going to be pretty good again for Ridgepoint Baseball. So stand by. We'll be right back, and we'll have about nine visits, which I think is very appropriate since we're talking about baseball. We'll be right back after this from First Tire and Automotive. First Class Service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireAuto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first Tire and Auto last look back at the year 2022-2023. And as often happens, the last team standing were the Ridgepoint Panthers baseball team. We were hoping that on Memorial Day weekend we'd be talking about the upcoming regional final appearance, but that did not work out. But we want to talk with as many Panthers who made it such a great year. And let's talk with Parker and Logan Martin. So, first of all, let's start off with where you guys are going next. You're going to Allen Community College, but that's not in Allen, Texas, which is a good thing, even though I love Texas. Tell us all about it. So, yeah, we're going to Allen Community College. We're super excited. Uh, it's a small school in Kansas, but we're just super excited to get there. So That's Parker and now Logan. So, how did you guys make this choice, and did you have any other opportunities that maybe – you decided to pass on? Well, at first we were committed to a school in uh, Illinois, but the coaching left, so we, we found our second home, Allen, and the coaching was nice, and the facility was everything we loved, and they just made us feel at home, so that's what made us choose Allen. Logan, you're one of many players that are part of the Ridgepoint program. There's so many players that would start for other teams in Fort Bend County and a lot of other places, but you didn't get that much of an opportunity to play, so what position do you think is going to be your home when you get an opportunity in college? Probably second base, and second base is probably one of my favorite positions to play besides third, but I couldn't play third base at Ridge Point because my, uh, my twin brother was there, but it was an honor to watch him play. All right, and as for you, Parker, what's, um, what's your goal? I mean, are you thinking about maybe being in the, the big show someday? I mean, I just, I don't, I don't want to think about small things. I think about, you know, big, 
opportunities and accomplishments. So what's the the dream? For sure, right now I'm going to a small school, so I want to make sure I want to I'm going to ball out and stand out there, and then I also want to go to a good four year school. And if baseball takes me somewhere after the four year school, I like to keep playing for sure. So I love seeing siblings that get to play together. Was it an absolute? This is a package deal. You you're not taking my brother, then you're not taking me either. Did it go that way in the talks? And anybody can handle that question if they want. I mean, maybe a little bit, but we've always decided that maybe we should go to college together because we've grown up together and we just like being with each other. So, for sure. Yep. All right. Anything else that uh, either or both of you want to kind of say to sum up the season? Uh, best memory, maybe a regret here or there, whatever is on your mind. I mean, I just want to go and thank all my teammates that I played for. I really enjoyed playing with them the last two years on varsity, and there's, I wish I have no regrets. I love playing with them, and I'm just happy that you know we got to state and had a good season. Yeah, it's going to be sad missing all these boys next year. Uh, it was one of my favorite memories, just eating food after the games, just hanging out with the team and just being with them and bonding. I'm going to miss that next year, and I just hope they have a good season next year, and maybe they can make it to state. That's the beauty of it to me. I mean, I just love the camaraderie. I love seeing uh, guys or girls who have been friends since they were in elementary school get to really pull together. They, they merge into young adults, and they see what they can do athletically and sometimes yield some really memorable things. So thanks for being with us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you for coming along, too. It was, it was awesome. So Yeah, well, my pleasure. I always say that. We'll be back with more. We got Panthers all over the place, and we'll talk to as many of them as we can on VipeFortBend.com. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm talking, of course, about Xfinity. Now, Houston won't like me saying this, but this is bigger than the moon landing. You didn't hear from me, though. <laughs> oh, we heard you, Neil. You did? Yeah, we hear everything, Neil. We should talk when you get back. Yes, this is that big. Now through June 25th, new customers can switch to Xfinity Internet and get one line of unlimited intro mobile and Wi-Fi equipment free for two years. You heard that right, free for two years. It's all included for just $50 a month with a two-year price guarantee and no annual contract. Now that is one giant leap for mankind. Don't wait. Get it all with Xfinity, home of the Xfinity 10G network. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. After promo, regular rate supply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the first tire and automotive last look back, a retrospective on 2022 2023. The last team standing was the Ridgepoint Panthers, and we've got Owen Ferris, senior right fielder, and Jack McKernan, a junior to be pitcher. So, since uh, Owen is closer to death, he's older, uh, we'll talk to him first. Owen, what do you want to say after uh, it was a great year? It didn't end exactly the way we wanted it to. What do you have to say? You know, it was a great year. It's a bunch of, I made a bunch of good friendships, great friendships. Love the guys, love the run we had. It sucks that it ended the way it did, but you know, you gotta, you gotta appreciate the time that we had together. And I'll always be rooting for the guys that I was with. And it's time for the next step. There's no question about that. And now Jack McKernan, Jack, uh, I want to ask you first. You're going to have a new head coach next year. It's yeah. Michael Dutka. I don't know that it's going to be that much different, but uh, what do you think about his promotion, and what would you have to say about Coach Welch after um, you know, ri raising Ridgepoint to such amazing heights over his tenure? I mean, Coach Welch had an amazing career. He was an amazing coach and made me a better person, a better man, and all I know is Coach Dutka is going to fill in his shoes. I mean, he's been under Coach Welch for a while. Now he's just been waiting for his opportunity, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Now, I know when pitchers are out on the mound, it's almost always Coach Dutka calling the pitches. Is that going to change, do you think, or do you have no idea? 
I have no idea. Well, I, I kind of hope it doesn't change. I think he'll keep calling the pitches. Yeah, okay. Owen says he'll keep calling the pitches. You know, I had a little more time on my hands leading up to the last couple of series, and, and you probably know why. I was home recuperating from surgery, didn't have to go teach school. It broke my heart. Uh, but I was looking back and listening to some games that were played before, and I was thinking about some catches you made in the game against Tompkins, the game two. And uh, do you remember your great catch, and did you hurt yourself on the wall? Uh, no, I didn't hurt myself, but I just remember that game. It was game three against Seven Lakes, and I was – I we were just – we really wanted to win, and I was really locked in, and I just – we were doing everything that we could, and I got really good reads out there, and we did what we had to do, and we moved on to the next round. And also, uh, closer to the present, you ended the series against Lamar with a double play. I guess the runner moving from first to second thought there was no way you were going to catch it. You caught it, throw to first, game over, and were you surprised that he had taken off for second? I was a little bit. The wind was blowing out a little bit to right field, but... I guess he thought it was dropping in, and I saw it coming in. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw him going to second, and I knew once I saw him, I knew the game was over because I knew I was going to get him at first after catching that ball. So what is next for you? I'm going to be playing at Temple Junior College for a year or two and seeing what happens after that, hopefully moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah, and there's one thing about baseball. Going to a junior college doesn't mean that you won't get an opportunity. In fact, it makes way for a better opportunity. The NCAA has so many ridiculous, some of them are not ridiculous, but there are others that are regulations that kind of limit how much you can practice. And when you're JUCO, you can do whatever you want. Yes, sir. With everything happening recently, with all the transfer portal and all that, junior college is it's it's a really good opportunity for anybody, really. And you can go for a year or two and then have an opportunity to play wherever you want after that if you perform. All right. Now, Jack does not plan to go the JUCO route. You've said you're going to Texas. Is that still the commitment? Yes. And is that that and shut the book, that's where you're going? Yes, sir. As of right now, yes, sir. What made that your choice? Um, the coaching staff is amazing and a great repetition of uh, winning and good culture. Okay, well, if you go there and you go with the team to Omaha, I will go there as soon as Ridgepoint is done in the UIL State Baseball Tournament. How's that sound? That sounds amazing. <laughs> you don't have any little brothers, do you? No, sir. Okay, how about you, Owen? I do have a little brother, but he's a football player, not a baseball player. Well, as long as he plays something. Yeah, All right. Something. Anything else that either one of you guys wants to say before uh, I – let you go and, and move on to one of the other players or, or or pairs of players that have done great for Ridgepoint. Anything? I would like to say congratulations to Coach Welch on a great career coaching. Congratulations on a retirement. And good luck to Coach Dutka. He's a great coach, and he'll do great. I'll piggyback on what Owen said. I just want to thank Coach Welch for everything he's done for me, made me a better human, better man, and uh, he's had an amazing career. There's not much else to say. All right, I agree with you. Thank you very much, both Thank of you. you. And, Jack, don't move. I won't. I won't. Good, good. All right. All right. Thank you. We'll talk to you all later, hopefully not too much later. All right, that's Owen Ferris and Jack McKernan. We'll be back with more on the First Tire and Automotive. Last look back at 2022-2023. Ridgepoint had a great year, although they dropped out in the round of 32. It was kind of heartbreaking. But uh, you know how it is. There's a bracket of 128 teams in every single team sport classification, nearly every team sport classification. And the thing is, 127 out of those 128 go home sad. So that's the way it goes. But we'll talk to you more when we continue on ViteFortBend.com. 
First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Ow to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUCAPP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. <laughs> All right, welcome back everybody to the first tire in auto. Last look back at 2022, 2023, and we didn't lead off with Zion Stevens, but he led off in the Ridgepoint batting order pretty much the whole year. And um, this, as we record this, you know, we really wish we were talking about the upcoming regional final series between Ridgepoint and whomever, but it did not work out that way. So what can you tell me, first of all, about your new opportunity at Abilene Christian, a school I know a couple of things about? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the opportunity is great. I mean, coaching staff's amazing. Um, the school is Christian-based, so I'm, I'm very excited to get up there. And obviously knowing that it was your alma mater um, and you telling me very good things about the campus and program that they have up there, I'm super excited to get up there. So, yeah, can't say anything else. Um, I'm just excited, really, really excited to get up there. Have they talked with you about anything specific as far as what position that you're going to play? Because you played second base your junior year and shortstop your senior year yes, and usually a stud athlete is yes, a shortstop so is that where you're going to be when you're at ACU or possibly somewhere else um, I mean that's the plan but um, obviously going up there I mean I'm going to keep an open mind uh, if they put me in the outfield that's fine but I'm just going to try to uh, find a way where I can you know play my first year get a lot of experience so I can be um, that guy for them and um, yeah just uh, contribute to the program that they have up there so I'm excited for whatever opportunity comes if it's outfield or infield um, I'm just going to try to play the game the hardest I can and um, just try to meet the coaches and my expectations up there. So I'm excited. We're talking with Zion Stevens of Ridgepoint. And is there anybody who's already in the ACU Wildcat baseball program that we might know of just from the Houston area? Any familiar faces or names? Oh, uh, yes, sir. So one of my good my good buddies, uh, he got hurt this year for ACU, but um, he transferred from San Jack uh, to ACU this year. Uh, he got hurt ACL, sadly, but um, Ben uh, Ben Greer, he went to Shadow Creek High School. A uh, very, very good athlete. I, I try to look, um, take my game from him, and I learned so much from him working in uh, the summer of a couple years ago. But, yeah, no, very stud athlete. Hopefully I'll be playing next to him in the infield, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited for what's to come. And speaking of what's to come, Michael Duck is going to be the new head coach of yes, the Panthers. Sir. He won't be coaching you as the head coach. Yes, sir. But I tried – not to be the last person to know mm -hmm. on stuff, but somehow we got to the end. Mm -hmm. I had no idea Coach Welch was going to retire. Did you know he was? Um, no, sir, I didn't. I thought he was going to stick it out for a couple more ages, right? Um, very good coach, probably the best coach I've ever been under. No, very good program he had at Ridgepoint, and big things to come for him for whatever he wants to do, if it's education, coaching, whatever. He's a very good co uh, coach and guy, um, so big things to come for him, and uh, I, I, I pray for the best for him. And one final question that's kind of on a personal note. Um, I was the last of six kids, but I'm not a twin. Mm -hmm. This might be a little bit more difficult of a separation thing if it's two twin boys mm -hmm. or two twin girls, but you and your twin sister Zoe, who's a great cheerleader for Ridgepoint, mm -hmm. you're not going to be living under the same roof yeah, anymore. Exactly. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I love my sister to death. Uh, she's been through thick and thin with me, um, always been a caretaker of me, and uh, I really look after her pride and passion that she has for every subject that she's interested 
invested in. So, um, yeah, Zoe, I love you, and um, she's going to do big things at Howard University in D.C. Um, yeah, it's going to be sad that we're not going to be as close as we were, but we're going to definitely keep in contact and uh, keep the twin sister um, and brother bond that we have. So I'm excited, and uh, yeah. And at this point, Howard is more famous than Abilene Christian, but... If you do some amazing things there, maybe that'll change. Uh, yes, sir. Hopefully, hopefully that's the plan. Hopefully, uh, you know, sadly our season came to an end this year, but uh, hopefully we can make a super regional and uh, hopefully make it to Omaha one day. All right. Yes, I agree. Uh, if, if ACU goes to Omaha, I'll see you there. Yes, sir. Sound All right. Fan, Mr. Rogers. That is Zion Stevens. Thanks for being with us, and I'd like to talk to you more, but i uh, got to hit up a bunch more players. Hey, yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Yes, sir. Thanks this is VitefortBend.com. Hello. I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Okay, we've got more of our first tire in automotive. Last look back at 2022-2023. We were hoping we'd still be broadcasting ball games for a couple more weeks, but it ended for the Ridgepoint Panthers in the third round of the playoffs, and Carter Groen is one of those many players who are really disappointed to have to say goodbye to him. So, first of all, Carter, you're going to Iona next year, and what are your plans there? Where do you think they're going to put you? Um, well, they originally recruited me as a corner outfield first baseman, so I think I'm really going to stick with that. Um, kind of just let uh, let me, uh, you know, do my thing at the plate and you know play the field as well as I can. And I feel I feel like that's where you know my home is going to be at the next level and then in the A level after that. So I'm really super excited. So this past year, I know you could basically hit and you really couldn't do too much else. Um, how is your arm and are you going to be able to make some serious throws when you need to uh, possibly going forward what's the prognosis right now so I recently just got cleared um, uh, a little over a week ago to start my throwing program so the the recovery has been um, steadfast really um, really making a lot of progress um, I had a lot of time um, away from throwing which really helped really helped me heal and um, I'm working with really good doctors and people that you know know what they're doing so um, going forward uh, this summer I'll still be playing summer ball um, I'm gonna be you know back to 100% you know no time just under a month or so according to the throwing program if everything goes the way it's supposed to and I'm you know really confident in who I have around me and how diligent I am with uh, my recovery and you know the things I need to be doing and um, I'm, I'm really not too uh, not, I'm, re I'm really, I'd say, optimistic um, about about the future and what it has, what, what's in store, and um, my my shoulders coming along really well, and it, you know, it feels great. We're talking with Carter Groen, who was also a tight end for the Panthers, and I know that you missed the last few games because your back was bothering you, but you definitely proved you're a quick healer, and I think you are in such great shape for the baseball season that. Um, if there's any doubt in whether you can come back from something that dis dispelled that doubt. Oh no, um, I, I mean, I have a lot of people that support me, and um, uh, throughout you know my high school career, it's it hasn't been all ups. Um, there's been a lot of downs, a lot of setbacks with injury. Um, well, not a lot, but um, enough to uh, be able to you know overcome and learn from and um, kind of. And I've always been disciplined um, and um, diligent about, you know, whether it be in the weight room or whether it come to injury or, you know, working hard is, has never been an issue for me. So I'm, 
uh, I'm prepared for really anything um, at this point, and I feel like my history and the things that have happened in the past have prepared me um, for for uh, you know whatever injury I am dealing with now, being my shoulder or any injury to come, and I'm you know. I'm, I'm really hopeful for the future and really blessed that I've been able to experience this thing and know how to go about it. And props to you for persevering. I mean, I can certainly vouch for that. And I wanted to ask you about Iona. I know about Iona, but it's because mainly when I watch March Madness, Iona has sent some teams oh, yeah. to the big dance before, so that's how I know about Iona. But did you know about Iona before it became a possibility for your destination as a college student athlete? I actually did not. Um, so the I was getting recruited by um, a lot of schools, um, multitude of schools. One of them being Dartmouth, and um, uh, the head coach at Iona now was an assistant at Dartmouth when they were recruiting me. And fortunately enough, he took a head coaching position at Iona and continued to follow me. And that's kind of how we reconnected. And I ended uh, I ended up landing there of all places. So. Iona's in New York State. I think it's a Catholic school. Is that right? Yes. And yeah. what else can you tell us about it? I know it's it's uh, D1, highest level yes. in baseball. Yes, sir. So it's in the, the MAC conference with uh, Quinnipi Quinnipiac, Fairfield, uh, Niagara, um, seeing a couple other those schools. Um, uh, liberal, small liberal arts school, um, roughly 2,500 students, undergrad. Um, really similar to Rich Point, actually, um, in, in terms of student body, but um, right outside, right outside New York City, uh, right outside Manhattan, 15-minute train ride. Um, it's in the city of New Rochelle. Uh, really beautiful area. Really beautiful, you know, uh, scenery, and you know, uh, being next to the city and being a 15-minute train ride from campus is uh, was definitely a pull factor. I know you've played in some cold games, but I'm sure you're ready for even colder ones this time. Carter, it's great to visit with you. Very best luck. All the best to you. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. Thank All you. All right. VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County High School Sports. And we'll see what other Panthers are willing to talk to us here on our end-of-the-season podcasts. Be right back. First Class Service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Hey, Fort Bend County fans, this is Bradley Stavenal with Nevo Insurance Agency. Bradley is my insurance man. He can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every year on your car insurance, home insurance, or flood insurance, or all three like he did for me. And Bradley, you are as Fort Bend County as they come, right? That's right. Fourth generation here in the Needville area in Fort Bend County, uh, taking care of folks over here for over 100 years here in uh, Fort Bend County. You can give him a call. You can go online or he'll even come see you at the Needville Insurance Agency. Give him the number, Bradley. 979-793-7411. All right, everybody, we continue on the first tire in auto. Last look back at 2022-2023, and the last team standing was Ridgepoint Baseball. And we're with Dylan Kalmus. He's on a great pitching staff. You know, the team's ERA for the entire pitching staff was well under a run and a half per game. You didn't get a chance to pitch that much. It's just kind of a curse. There were so many good pitchers. So what is it like to know that you can perform, maybe even be the ace of the staff of some of your district rivals, and yet you didn't get that many opportunities? Yeah, you know, we got a great staff and we knew coming in that we were going to have some good guys and it was going to it was going to be a battle just to get some innings, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, we wanted to get back to Round Rock and win state. So that was our end goal. You know, and we had Kellen and Jack, you know, and I was we were all just fighting for innings, but you know, whenever we were called upon, everyone felt that we were ready to go out and do our job and, you know, shut them down. Our offense would have come back, was going to come back in and get some runs, you know. So it was just a matter of, you know, waiting for your turn. And when your name was called, you just got to be ready to go. You know, with two studs ahead of you, you know, like they're great leaders. And 
take a lot of pride in that. So we just knew that we were going to follow them. We were going to kick some butt, you know. So, yeah. I agree with everything you said, Dylan. I just wish you were a year younger and uh, quite a few other players that uh, it would be great if the NCAA, you know, the NCAA had given – a lot of guys, because of the COVID year, say you can stay an extra year if you want. Can't do that in high school. That's a shame. Yeah. But you do have an opportunity to be a college student athlete. So tell us all about what you have coming up. Definitely, yeah. I'm going to uh, Hendricks College in Arkansas in the fall with Coach Thomas and Coach Schmidt. And uh, very grateful. I'm looking. I'm really excited. You know, I think we got a good squad building off of last year's team with a bunch of bunch of high level seniors and graduates on that team. You know, so. They're looking for guys to come in and eat some innings up, and I'm looking to get up on campus and get acclimated and, you know, get ready and um, just try and fight for some innings and help the team win some games up there. So, yeah, no, I'm super excited, super thankful that I got the chance, and I'm ready to perform. And do you do more than pitch, or are you strictly a pitcher at this point? Uh, at this point, I'm strictly a pitcher, but maybe I could slot a couple of DH, DHABs in there and see if I can hit some bombs, you know. But at this point, I'm strictly a pitcher. But I'm happy for that, and I'm ready to, ready to help the team win some games up there. And if not bombs, bunts. Yeah. Bunts can be good sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. You know, pitchers are the best bunters. Yeah. Anything else that you want to say before we let you go and wish you luck going off into the wild orange yonder? Uh, thanks for everyone that supported us. Thank you to Roger for coming to all the games and being our uh, announcer. We had a great time this year. Uh, didn't end how we wanted, you know, but we're thankful for the ride. And we got a great group of seniors here. We're celebrating today and we're all having a great time. You know, we're just looking back on all the memories over the last four years and beyond, you know. But, you know, didn't end how we wanted, but we're having a great time here today and we're celebrating. So, you know, it's, it's all good. We're having a great time here. So, And don't forget about us because one sweet day, Ridgepoint is going to win on Saturday in Round Rock, and it'll be awesome. Yeah, it'll be awesome. We're waiting for that day. I'll be there for sure supporting the boys. You know, Coach Chuck is going to do a great job with Coach Welch leaving. I'm sure he's going to keep keep the high standards of Ridgepoint going and just, you know, run with it, and it's going to be a good team next year. So I'll be watching. I'll be at the games. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going anywhere. I'm excited for all the guys next year, so I'll definitely be around for sure. So I'm also thrilled for Coach Dutka for the opportunity, and uh, I wish Coach Welch wasn't retiring, but, uh, you know, it's a – the other side of the coin is great to see yeah. Coach Dutt could get the opportunity. Thanks for being with thank us. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all those fans out there. We had a great time this year. That's Dylan Kalmus. We'll be back with some more. I'm sure we're not done here on VipeFortBend.com. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there's one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Welcome back to the First Tire and Automotive. Last look back at 2022-2023. We're talking to as many Ridgepoint Panther baseball players as we can. Most of them are seniors, and Kellen Gratisar was ace number one. If Jack McKernan was ace 1A or vice versa, we're not going to argue about that. But Kellen, first of all, Congratulations on a great year, and how do you feel like you were better as a senior than you were as a junior, which was pretty dang good? Yeah, I mean, I'd say I've had two good seasons. I mean, my junior year coming back from Tommy John was a surprise to me just because first year back, I honestly wasn't, I didn't have high expectations. And then leading into my senior year after a great junior year, I had high, I had high hopes for myself just based on my junior season. And I just, it, to me, I, I think I escalated very well for my senior year. So I think it went well. Now your future is at Lenoir Ryan. I hope Lenoir. I'm pronouncing, I, yes, I guess I, I shouldn't be so French. I'll just say <laughs> Lenoir Ryan. 
Now, uh, what town and state is that in? It is in Hickory, North Carolina. I remember way back in the 1970s, I went to Abilene Christian, but I wasn't there yet. That's where Zion Stevens is going, by the way. And Abilene Christian beat Lenore Ryan in one of the NAIA football playoff games. That's really all I know about it. So what more can you tell me about the program? Uh, I can tell you that now, as of right now, we are actually a D2 powerhouse. I'd say we are pretty solid in almost every single sport we play in, which kind of like made me decide that I want to go there because we're successful in almost every sport. Our lacrosse team is actually playing in the national championship right now, and we're ahead 13-1 to in the first half. So we should come home with a nat with the national championship in lacrosse. Our baseball team always has a winning record, so that kind of sold me on the team as long as with the young coaching staff. We have a great coaching staff. Coach Ramirez is amazing. I loved all of them. Coach Sko. And, I mean, that's what kind of sold me to North Carolina, just based off how the school has escalated and how they're a powerhouse in almost every sport. So. And I have to admit, I've never been to North Carolina, but for what it's worth, the scenery has to be amazing. Yes, sir. I can agree with that. That that also definitely sold me just based on we fly in, we land, and we drive to our first destination. It's just all big trees, nice lakes, and great weather. Is there any chance that you would do anything for a baseball team other than be a pitcher? Anything that you can do that uh, you might, you know, just give yourself another hat to wear, basically? I mean, I'd, w I'd love to. If they gave me the opportunity to do anything, I would. I played shortstop almost my whole life until I had Tommy John. So if they gave me the opportunity, I would definitely take it. But I just don't see myself doing that. I see myself as being a pitcher only and helping the team any way I can. Does anything that I say in describing a game in the play-by-play, -play, does it ever get back to you players? Yes, sir. I Definitely. We love, we, love, we love you, man. Okay, what if I ever say anything, you know, kind of, not uncomplimentary, but just, I don't know, it sounds kind of like stand-up comedy, like you're being roasted. We love it. <laughs> we, we, take it we take it to the heart. We love it, though. Well, there's this NFL Hall of Famer named Don Maynard. He was a receiver. He played for the New York Jets, and he was really skinny. His legs are skinny like, well, yours. <laughs> and they said, they joked with him, they said, don't ever leave Coke bottles. And in his day, they were the glass kind of Coke bottles. Don't leave him on the practice field. He might step in one. So that I used that joke. I don't know if it ever got back to you, but uh, you know, you and your skinny legs did just fine. Thank you. I mean, that's what that's what that's what it's all about for me. I just I just think I think I have a lot of progression to make uh, weight gaining wise, and I think once I hit my weight gaining wise, when I hit Lenore, they're really planning on putting me on a good eating plan and really trying to gain weight on me to gain velocity and gain pretty much up my game in all ways. So I really see myself getting a lot better than I am now. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the next Bartolo Colon will be Kellen <laughs> Gratisar with 150 extra pounds added on. Yes, sir. That sounds good. I'm totally kidding. But <laughs> the good thing about baseball, one of the best things about it is it doesn't matter if you go to a small school. There are guys throughout professional baseball who have started either at a JUCO or gone to a school that is just, it's not one that you're going to see on ESPN all the time. So I think it's great that you get this opportunity and looking forward to seeing you down your, your career road in baseball. Yes, sir. I'm excited. Thank you. All right. Class of 23, let's see if we can find somebody else. We haven't talked to Landry Ham yet. Maybe we'll find him. This is VipeFortMen.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. <laughs>
I knew we'd find him. We found Landry Ham, who played second base most of the time for Ridgepoint during the season that has just passed. And Landry, tell us about your future in baseball and and what position or positions you might have the opportunity to play. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to play college baseball at Colorado Christian. It's a D2 in Colorado. Um, I'm going to try and play all infield, honestly, except first base. But first, second, and third is what I'm, what I'm a target. And I'm sure the, the air is thin, so you'll hit more home runs, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, ball, the, the ball will definitely fly, yes, sir. I noticed this year you really had some amazing numbers. You just didn't have that many at-bats. Were there some nurse uh, injuries that you were nursing as we went through the district season? No, sir. I was just actually splitting time with one of my good friends. But, yes, sir, that was it. All right. By, by the way, you have fans all around us here. I'm, I'm, I'm just fortunate that I get to stick this recording device in your face. So um, what are you going to remember the most about the Ridgepoint Panthers from your senior year? Probably just our, our close friendships with one, one another. We uh, all grew up together, so it was just really fun playing with all the guys that, that are my friends outside of baseball. So, yeah. I'm going to ask you, please don't ever forget about Ridgepoint because – one sweet day, it is going to work out, and they're going to go to Round Rock, and they will win on Saturday. I thought that was going to happen this year, but, uh, you know, I've been wrong before. So anything else that you'd like to say to our listeners, anything that you'd want to say as a tribute either to the outgoing coach, Clinton Welch, or to Michael Dutka, his successor coming in, what would you like to say? Sir, I'd like to give a thank you to both coaches. They've been very good, and they obviously know what they're talking about with taking two teams to almost the state, uh, run two great programs, and also give a thanks to uh, everybody listens to Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers' podcast. Um, very dedicated. He's very good at what he does. You mean the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood podcast that were recorded before he died a few years ago? Or are you talking about me? <laughs> you, you, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. wow, that's cool. Thanks a lot, Landry. I appreciate it. It's it's so much fun. You know, uh, maybe next year uh, Ridge Point could have just as good a team but have some closer games because, you know, I was looking for some some competition from the district opponents, but I didn't see it this year. But, you know, that's just the way it goes, I guess. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the best to you going forward to Colorado Christian. And remember the Mountain Time Zone. It's pretty cool. You can watch Monday Night Football, and it ends an hour earlier. It's awesome. Yes, sir. Will do. Thank you. All right. That's Landry Ham. We'll be back with more right after this. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireNauto.com. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Ow to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUCAPP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. Welcome back, everybody, to the first Tire and Auto. Last look back at 2022, 2023. There are a lot of Ridgepoint Panther baseball players that the opponents would just as soon they left. But I would like to see them for another year, and one of them, Travis Vlasic, the first baseman and the slugger. So, Travis, first of all, I'm asking all these guys where they're going to play baseball in college. But before I ask you that, is there any other sport that you're good enough at where you could play in college, possibly? Well, I'm going to New Mexico Junior College to play baseball, but I am a pretty good golfer. But I, that's something I was maybe going to do when I was younger or like freshman year. But then once I got better at baseball, I kind of stopped playing as much. But I still, I'm, I'm like a two handicap, so I can still, I can still play. And I got shot a 79 yes, yesterday, but it, it'd have to be a smaller school than where I'm going to play. 
I noticed that Rich Point's golf team had a pretty good season. So do you think maybe you could have cracked that team, made it into the, made the cut, so to speak? Well, I, I was the number, I was the number six golfer on the team, and I used to be like four or five, but at the first day of districts, I played well, and I was in fourth place the whole tournament, and then the second day, I just didn't play good enough, but I would have gone to regionals if I would have played a little better. Hey, mama. But Hunter's here, he's one of the best, best golfers I know, and he's our number one there, and he's, he took care of business for him. And by the way, see, I just made a big assumption. I assumed you didn't play on the Ridge Point golf team, and now you're telling me that you did. Yeah, I, I did. I played. I just didn't practice as much. I still went to baseball practice, but I, I played in like five or six tournaments this year. I just Coach Welch would let me, and I'd just go hang out and miss a day or two of school and play golf. Great. Well, there, there aren't many players who have spent as much time with Coach Welch as you have. And I was stunned when I found out after the loss to Cinco Ranch uh, last week as we record this that he was retiring. Did you have any inkling whatsoever that that was going to happen? Well, I mean, I didn't really know. I just, I think everybody kind of knew maybe it would happen soon or just, we kind of all, I think everybody kind of wanted to get him a state championship because he talks about it so much. And, you know, he was on his fourth life, at he, as he would say, and he talks about how old he is. And I think he was just ready to be with the family and stuff. But, I mean, I wish I could play for him another four years if was, there was a chance. He's the best coach I've ever had. So, it was amazing. Yeah, he has been awesome, and so now it is Coach Michael Dutka, but as great as Coach Welch has been, I don't think the Panthers are going to miss a beat as far as their head coach. Yeah, I mean, Coach Dutka is, is a legend, as we'd say, but, I, I mean, he's he's been under Welch for a long time, and he's learned a lot, and he basically was like, anything Welch said, Dutka would just repeat it, so I think he'll be really good and take care of business. By the way, there's we, we're talking about really good moments that will – recall and cherish for a long long time but there's there's one thing is probably my my most disappointing moment for your baseball team this season it involves you it really didn't it's not your fault but when the ball hits the base and oh, it yeah. pops over the head of some guy are you six three uh yeah i'm six three six four maybe okay so the ball hits the bag yeah. it would have been out number three i believe then, yeah and then we tried to pick the guy off yeah i mean la earlier in the season i had a ball where i took too long and it hit the base and it got me and that one i was trying to go get it and then it just i mean there's nothing i could have done really and it was just i, I think that was kind of something that had happened and it was like might not be our day today but i mean we still kept fighting no matter what and when you you failed, well, you failed to get the the call on the yeah. tag when they had him hung up. First of all, you know we're we're in heaven. We're at the pearly gates. Yeah. Saint Peter asks, "Did you tag him out? Did you tag him out?" One hundred percent. I truly was. I could not believe when he made that call because I mean I put I I even my foot blocked the bag and he didn't even I don't even think he touched first base. But I I mean. You know, umpire said what he said, but I, I think he was definitely out. And then there's the trifecta. The guy who came into the batter's box took what I know was strike three, yeah. but it was called ball four, and then there was a three-run homer, and the next thing you know, you're down by five. It was just that whole game had some things where I was over there at first just going, I, I don't know about that, but, I mean, sometimes it just happens. And... It just wasn't our day that day, and it just, I don't know. I wish it could have been. Anyway, I'm, I have every bit as much pain and regret as you do, believe it or not. It was it was very, it was a very sad moment, and I think we all kind of had a moment where we all broke down and we'd never seen it before between each other, but it was kind of fun, and, I mean, it was a great four years with these guys, and I wouldn't change anything for the world. Okay, so now I'll ask you what usually is the first question. Tell me about your college future, where you're going. Well, I'm I'm going to New Mexico Junior College to play baseball, and I mean hope. And they've been they had a really good season this year. I'm losing to Weatherford to go to the World Series, and I'm hoping to go there and play and hit more homers and keep being a slugger, as you'd say, and just keep taking everything I've learned from Welch and just see what I can do with it. That's really it. That's awesome, Travis Vlasic. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. I would play golf with you, but I suck, so I won't be <laughs> oh, doing that. Me, I'm used to playing with people that aren't as good, and it's more fun. You don't know who you're talking to. I'm really bad. Yeah, but I I'd love to anytime. I'll be back. All right. This is ByFortBend.com. We're almost done. Glad you're with us. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind.
I'm talking, of course, about Xfinity. Now, Houston won't like me saying this, but this is bigger than the moon landing. You didn't hear from me, though. <laughs> oh, we heard you, Neil. You did? Yeah, we hear everything, Neil. We should talk when you get back. Yes, this is that big. Now through June 25th, new customers can switch to Xfinity Internet and get one line of unlimited intro mobile and Wi-Fi equipment free for two years. You heard that right, free for two years. It's all included for just $50 a month with a two-year price guarantee and no annual contract. Now that is one giant leap for mankind. Don't wait. Get it all with Xfinity, home of the Xfinity 10G network. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. After promo, regular rate supply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary. All right, we're back for one final segment on the first tire and automotive last look back at 2022-2023. And the Ridgepoint Panthers didn't make it back to Round Rock this year. But, you know, I'm thinking about reasons to be optimistic, even though the Panthers are losing so many seniors. And it's all of a sudden Christmas in May. Mason Dossett has just told me he's going to play baseball again next year. And first of all, what led to the change of heart? Uh, really, so this year was like a big uh, year for football for me. Uh, definitely, like um, uh, it's one of your fans, Will Baker. But but do go on. Uh, so yeah, this was like really like the last big push for uh, for uh, high school recruiting for football. So getting all the all this stuff done next uh, this year, you know, official visits, uh, and just visits in general, getting that done. You know, has free time for next year playing baseball. You know, this has always been in my mind since, you know, this, this upcoming year. So getting to play next year is going to be huge. And I noticed you did some amazing things in, in track as well. Tell me about your your very best sprinting performances in track. Uh, you know, this year like was a great year for our track program. Um, all the relays and, and then uh, me and the hurdles. Um, we ended up placing second in the 4x1 and third in the 4x2 for uh, our relays this year. You know, it was a great year all around. Uh, all the relays were just incredible. Getting to spend time with them and be able to run with them this uh, this season. So um, losing a senior this year, uh, but I think next year, you know, we're going to even reload and, and you know possibly be better than we were this year. So looking forward to that. How is your throwing arm? Because I know that last year when you were a sophomore, you were in center field and you tracked down a lot of baseballs. But usually when you talk about the big arm, that's typically the right fielder because he has the longest throws to make. Is there a preference that you have? Where do you think you might be? Um, I think I'll probably play center field again just because of my speed. Um, my arm's definitely definitely going to be fresh next year, you know, just taking this year off. Um, really, lifting has been a big uh, part of this just because I've had so much time off. Um, so getting bigger, stronger, faster, you know, will definitely be a, be a benefit for this uh, next upcoming year. So, And football is still the same, right? You're still going to be scoring touchdowns. Yes, sir, absolutely. All right, there's one other question I want to ask. It's just kind of maybe you can point him out before I leave. But I understand that your dad played pro football for the Green Bay Packers, and it's really amazing. It's not just boys. It's girls throughout Ridgepoint Athletics who have NFL dads. Tell me about your NFL dad. Really just, you know, my dad's been awesome throughout this whole uh, recruiting process. You know, just being there for me, you know, helping me along the way. Um, but, you know, just this, com this community has been crazy, just like – all the the NFL uh, parents out there that like uh, their uh, sons and children that go to our school like it's just crazy you know uh, a lot more than other schools uh, in our district so you know like having that in our district is just huge that should tell you something about Rich Point I mean just the talent that we bring in every year is just like it's it's something like it's crazy I mean. So, you know, this upcoming year, too, I think, you know, like we'll have a good shot to, you know, even go farther than this past year. Um, you know, I believe in every one of these players from, from for every sport. I mean, um, that, you know, we can make a run for, you know, a state championship. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And also uh, the NFL dad thing. I was doing a volleyball match. I, I do that, too, on Tuesday nights. 
and I'm sitting there, crowds coming in, walking right past where I'm sitting, and I go, hmm, wow, that, that looks like Adrian Peterson. Oh. It is Adrian Peterson. Oh, yeah. You know, his, his daughter plays on the volleyball team, and you got Wade Smith, the former Texan. He's got one volleyball daughter who's graduated, but another one's still there, and the list goes on. It's pretty amazing. No, it's crazy. I mean, I mean, shoot, people are moving in all the time now, so, I mean, you don't know what to expect, but... Everyone that's been here, I mean, from this year, um, Ashton's dad, Mark Roman, uh, from DK's dad, I mean, really just everyone, um, a lot of our team, you know, their dads have played in the NFL, so, I mean, it's been crazy, like, you couldn't ask for, I mean, those, you know, those kids are going to perform really well, so, you know, we're just going to keep reloading. That's right. That's Mason Dossett. Thanks Thank very you. much for being sure. with us, and I'm just glad you got another year because sure. this baseball team is losing so many great oh, seniors, gonna, but you'll help fill it out. We're going to be special next year. I mean, you know, people might not think that, but I think, you know, just because this year is going to be from the team I grew up with uh, without when I was a little kid. So, you know, just believe it. Like, I have confidence, and I'm going to believe in, you know, every player on this team. So, all right, I'm going to write that down, and uh, I'll make my plans accordingly. Yes, sir. All right, have, so a, you. have a great a one. one. Yes, sir. Very best to you. That's Mason Dossett, and I think we're ready to, uh, well, uh, I'm going to say uh, I think we're going to hydrate ourselves here pretty soon, but we'll be right back. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com You know, before we wrap this up, we, there's something we need to resolve because every team needs a catcher. Yes, sir. But uh, can Christian Gijosa be the catcher next year when we don't have J.J. Kennett anymore or you're graduating? What's the deal? You know, when you come from Rich Point, a lot of good catchers coming up. You know, you think of Will Pendergrass, King Brandon Nelson, J.J. Kennett, obviously, last year. It's a tough role to fill, especially at Rich Point. You know, we just lost Welch. We have Coach Duck coming in. I mean, I'm going to do the best I can. Hope I can swing it. Uh, I'm really excited for next year to see what we can do. I think people are going to think that we're, uh, we're not going to be as good as we're going to be. And, you know, we got a lot of scrappy guys out there. I think we're going to be a lot better than people think we're going to be. And uh, we're going to surprise a lot of teams, and we're going to show them what's up. This is Christian Guijosa, and, you know, I, you've seen those lineups that they give me. Ridgepoint has less detail on its lineup than any other school. They don't put first names. They don't put classifications or anything like that. So I had to ask you. I wasn't sure if you were graduating or if you got another year. I'm relieved to hear you have another year. And so I think there is one problem, though, and, and it's going to – a lot of people will relate to this. It's your hair. If you're going to play catcher – you got good hair, but it's going to destroy it on game nights. You know, when you come to Rich Point and you, you, you play for a guy like Coach Welch and Coach Zucka obviously coming in now, you know that you cannot have hair coming into the program, so it will, it will be cut pretty soon um, going into next season. Hair is definitely an issue when you come to Rich Point. You know, we, we have a tight tight program, very tight ship, old-fashioned, um, but the hair will definitely be cut by next year. Yes, and Coach Dutka doesn't have to worry about it. He has no hair to cut. Anyway, uh, I really want to thank you and your family. Uh, you have been so supportive and and expressing your good wishes and, and praying for my, my health. It really means a lot, and I'll never think of Augusta National the same way. They gave me some great stuff, windbreaker, and uh, it's, it's just great. I'm glad your big brother works out there at Augusta National in Georgia. 
All right, thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Roger. All thank right, you. now I think we're ready to take a break and take a break for the whole summer, as a matter of fact. This is VibeFortBend.com. We'll be getting next year's schedules ready. We will be your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. We'll be, we'll be right back to wrap this one up. Thank you so much to our great sponsors, First Tire and Automotive, Xfinity, the Needville Insurance Agency, Archer Volkswagen, and also back during football season, Equitable Advisors Financial Services. We'll be right back. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Ow to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUCAPP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. First Class Service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. It is now time to wrap things up on the first tire and automotive last look back at 2022-2023. We're very proud of the three podcasts that we put together on vipefortmen.com and we hope that you'll take some time to enjoy them during the summer and that you have a wonderful summer. I also was listing those sponsors when I was talking with Christian Guijosa of the Ridgepoint Panthers and I forgot to mention Next Level Urgent Care. So we really appreciate Next Level Urgent Care, and all of our sponsors who were with us throughout the year. And if you own a business, it would serve you well to be a sponsor on VibeFortBend.com. So you can call me at 713-516-6673. We have a high volume of listeners throughout the school year, every year, and it would enhance your business. And you could say that you're supporting Fort Bend County High School Sports. One of the most worthwhile things in the world, I believe, is interscholastic competition among high schoolers. It's just fantastic. It makes them better people. It makes us have a better city, state, and country as well. All right, so what else was I going to mention? I was going to mention that we're just going to be getting ready for the volleyball and football seasons, and we really appreciate all the support that we get from Dina Scott in the Fort Bend ISD Athletic Administrative Office, also her staff, Deb Mize, Jeff Keener, Shannon Rideout, and Amy Marietta, although I now realize I think that Amy is going by the last name Williams. So, Amy Williams, we appreciate everything that you do to support our broadcasts on VipeFortBend.com. And I'm Roger Smith. I thank you all not only for your, your listenership but also your support when I found out that I did have cancer and I needed surgery. There were so many people praying for me and and expressing their their kind wishes and it, it just means so much. There's there's kind of a connection that I have with the folks who listen to VibeFortBend.com that I never had before. So God bless you. Have a wonderful, safe summer. And we look forward to seeing not only next year's athletes who are still in high school do the very best that they can in that wonderful crucible of competition, but also those who have proven good enough to get a chance at the next level. We wish the very best to all of you as well. So goodbye, enjoy your summer, and we'll be talking to you in August for sure with preview shows and volleyball matches and football games. Goodbye, everybody, from VipeFortBend.com. <laughs>